so I just wanted to do like a quick intro I am doing a Thanksgiving look today this is what I call like beginner friendly um, full glam it is full glam I look full glam so I'll call it full glam um, makeup look I did use eyeshadows shown in my makeup palette um, this is the recipe dye palette by cookbook cosmetics we open it up it does come with a mirror mine is dirty this is my personal one that's why you see um, I use three colors which are eggnog which is the cream that's the color you see here I use hot cocoa which is an outer corner and in my crease and then I always use cornbread as a transition shade so that's like up by the eyebrow and to blend everything out um so yeah and I, I also used as a highlighter I wanted like a rose goldish type so I use holiday punch as a highlighter that you see on my nose as well so if you like this look keep watching hey so I am back um I wanted to do a Thanksgiving, like daytime friendly, day to night friendly, all day wearable um, eyeshadow look. It is only just, sorry, it's only gonna use three colors um, and it won't be like too complicated. So this is very beginner friendly. First thing I'm gonna do is start by priming my eyelids. Um, I'll, I use concealer. If you wanna use like an eyeshadow primer, that is fine. Um, I have oily lids and my makeup stays on my lids all day. Um, I'm not going to touch my eyebrows yet. I'm just going to start by priming my lids. I am going to shape, shape up my eyebrows, but I'm going to start by priming. Um, I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 50 this is what it looks like i don't know the official name take this brush out of my collection I will be dropping very very soon it is a like I don't know how to explain it it's very fluff, fluffy slightly densed um, it is kind of skinny it's a fluffy shader brush is what it's called so I'm gonna take that and then I always go into cornbread that is my um, transition this is always my transition always 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 I'm gonna tap it a couple times tap off any extra and then go right up under my brow into my eye with the transition shade and blend it all the way up and build it up to your liking build 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 <laughs> this don't reach for anything else don't come back I always come back to that transition um, next I'm going to take this is the fluffy tapered tapered fluffy blending brush blending eyeshadow brush that we'll be dropping in the same collection um, I had to make sure it was dry because I did wash it. Then we're going to go in with hot cocoa in the palette. Same palette. Go in hot cocoa. Tap it a couple times. Then we're going to start in our outer point. Tap it a couple times. And then we're going to define our crease. So my crease um, in the last video, I was telling you I have hooded eyes. My crease, it looks like it's right here, but when my eyes get hooded, when I open it up, it disappears. So I, I lose all that lid space. So I have to go slightly above that. 
Now, if you don't have hooded eyes, that's fine. You can just go into your natural crease, but I will have to create one. So that's what I'm doing, creating the crease. tail of my brow bone, my eyebrow. I'm staying in that V. Under the transition, above my lid. And build it up to your liking. Some people don't want like a super dark look. Um, I keep building mine because I like a really defined look. Defined, especially in my crease, really, really defined. I'm just gonna keep doing that. So we're gonna go back into that earth brush. That was our transition when we dipped into cornbread. Tap it a few times, and then right on the edge, get your cluster right on the edge where you stop putting that high cocoa, we're gonna add the cornbread back. So we're gonna blend those two colors together. And I hold mine down at an angle cause I have hooded eyes. So this just lets me know like, really get in there. Really blow it out. See the difference this one you can see that line this one you see it slightly but not as much as that side <laughs> into that that tapered fluffy brush and do it back up a little bit because at least up under it is blended out so up under where you just blended, that's where you're gonna add the color. You're not gonna go back and mess up all the work you just did. shader brush. It's flat, very dense, fluffy at the top. Um, we're going to pack on eggnog. So we swirl it in there, tap off some extra. And with this look, you can do either shimmer or matte. I like, um, what kind do I like? For Thanksgiving, I want to do like a matte look, but this you can do use any one of these shades. But right now, I'm just gonna do the matte. So I right, tap it in there, and then we're gonna start on the lid first. So from that lid, I was supposed to clean it off. I'm tripping. Hold on. Never clean your brushes right before you use them to. I always let them sit and dry because mine were not dry. It's not gonna do nothing, but it just makes, it picks up the product weird. It leaves this weird residue on the product. Anyway, pick it back up and you start, you pack it on. You're not going to start just going in there trying to blend out anything. You pack it on, build it up to what the intensity that you want. 
and I'm going into a um what is this like a moon shape so I'm, st I'm start at the bottom build it up and slowly going into a circular motion girl like do you see what I just did because <clears throat> the brush is wet you build it up you build it up build it up build it up so it's gonna look crazy first I promise it's gonna look crazy first And this is like a creamy cream color. It might look a little white on camera, but okay, I brought it over a little too far, but that's cool. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna do the other side. Pack it on the lid first. And then slowly, I start in the middle, then slowly bring it over. Then bring it up. And start going into that, uh, So we're gonna go in from the two duck and I want them to go halfway. And then after you get it up to the intensity that you want, you can start shading, going back and forth, all of that. So this side is what I wanted it to look like. This side, I gotta fix. So if you look like this, you can leave it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna just take my um, brush that we use for hot cocoa. I'm just gonna go back in and kind of define that crease because I went all over the place with it. shader brush with the eggnog on it swirl it around go back in with eggnog and redefine it so hot cocoa is really like a chocolate color it's gonna show up slightly burgundy especially after it's blended out and everything new product on the brush no new product I just picked it up I'm gonna go into this little part a little bit because I put too much right there I'm going into the inner and defining it right now it looks like this Right now, we're just gonna be blending, going back and forth. You don't necessarily have to add new product every time. I'm just trying to fix it up a little bit, create a cohesive blend. Go in with the same brush we used as our transition shade. Tap back into cornbread. And I wanna brand, blend, bridge a gap between the eggnog and um, hot chocolate, hot cocoa. So I'm just go right in between them two, right where they meet, and put that cornbread.
go back into eggnog one last time. I'm just going to pack it right in the front one more time. Not even pack it, I'm just going to yeah, blend it out a little bit. So it's still like equally blended on from the front to the cornbread mixed with hot cocoa. Now I'm going from eggnog and I'm putting my brush down and sweeping it back. Sweeping it back. Sweeping it back. With that flat um, shader brush um, that we use for cornbread all over our transition. And while we have it, we can just go in and re-blend it out if you think it ain't blended out all the way. You shouldn't see any harsh lines, it's the point. Only harsh line you should see is the difference between hot cocoa and eggnog. So it's gonna give you cut crease illusions, but it's not really a cut crease. It's literally three shades, three brushes. Now, if you fancy, I'm not fancy. If you fancy, you can add a wing. I'm not, so give me one moment. Yeah, I'm back. So I just wanted to pop over real quick and let y'all see what I was doing. Uh, whenever I apply my concealer, I always apply like a little lighter around the eyebrow to give it like a little pop. Um, I do redefine the eyebrow under it, but it's cool because when I blend it out, I'm going to use that, um, that fluffy brush that we use for our transition shade. And then also I put a little bit in my tear duct for my face. I put a little bit on my tear ducts and then I also put a little bit on the outside of that eye and it created this like sharp look. So I just want y'all to see that cause I don't want nobody saying like my stuff don't look like, well this is what I'm doing. So I like clean it up to my liking. So I'll tap it in. Drag it up. Keep dragging. So I bring it to a tip. So I can't do a wing, but this is how I get away with like a winged cat eye look. So if you're looking for that, and then this concealer, I didn't mean to do that. I bring it down the side of my nose as well. same brush no new product no new product you can see the concealer you can see it uh, I'm just gonna blend it in with the shadow and it's gonna do what it do so I define my out arch a little bit ain't nothing missing from the shadow it's still louder we just cleaning up the brows. So it's still all the, the final arch, no new products. This is what we doing. And that's what we doing. Goes with the set as well. One end is a spoolie, the other end is like flat angled. Uh, no product, I'm just rearranging. I actually might add a little bit more product um, to work. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. So, yeah. I asked a brighter powder. Like, look how bright that is compared to me. Um, use a brighter powder. 
Um, I use a dry sponge. You can wet it. I wet it sometimes too, but my sponge be dry. And then I'm going on the side of my nose. Make sure I'm getting all the concealer that I put down on the side of my face. And I'm going to pat it in. So it is brighter. What color is this? 20 light medium from Maybelline Fit Me. 20 light medium. But I feel like when it's drier, it um you pat it in and it didn't really change. Oh, oh a whole lot right there, child. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> I put too much right there. But since my um this is just what I'm doing. I told you I'm not a makeup artist. Since my foundation low key is always a deeper color than what I am, because I like to look bronzed, it is still my color. It's just more so like my summer color, and I never switch it out. Um, so I still look bronze. I still look like myself. A lighter powder, not white, but like a um, offset, like yellow, banana shade. Uh, and I'm only setting where my concealer went. Uh, I'm lying, I didn't only set where my concealer went. Because, and then when I put it on there, I like Maybelline powder, because when you put it on there and you blend it out, it disappears. I am gonna put just a little bit. I'm not going all the way back here. I know some people do that, but it don't blend out for me. So I'll just do one little line. And um, I usually stop in the middle of my eye when I don't go all the way back to my cheek. Once again, turn my head all the way. I kind of like make that face. And it's just like a little line. That's all the light powder that I use. Um, I told y'all in my other video, I am coming out with a loose setting powder, like the brush. Tap it in. That's all extras. I put it right on top. Right on top of that. Get it blended up. blending brush and I use this as my contour um I use a beauty supply contour but it's real ratchet I broke it I don't even know who Ruby Kisses Ruby Kisses but I broke it lost the top Coconut, and then I start down here because I really hate when people don't blend it out. And you just really gonna get in there. You gonna blend from the chin wherever you put any powder. 
you blending all that together, sis. finished bronzing like I bronzed my face but I didn't contour my nose so I just did this um, you can kind of tell then I added the lashes all I'm doing now I have the um, dense shader brush um, I use this up under my eye specifically whatever I do on top I try to slightly mimic at the bottom um, for daytime you can just leave it like this add some mascara and you're good However, I'm, if I'm going to do all this at the top, I'm going to complete my look at the bottom. So, um, And this is really actually a big brush. Lashes, the lash facts. Take my lash glue and my tweet. A little bit of glue, that little ball, that's all you need. Sorry. Middle of your face. Yeah. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is use the holiday punch. Let's try it. The fan brush, tap it in there. You probably don't need a lot. I definitely did too much. Make the face. I put mine right here, like where no, there's nothing on my face right now. Natural sheen. I put your um concealer everywhere where the natural sheen is. So on not concealer, highlighter, natural sheen. There's nothing on my face right now. I'm about to apply it. If I make this where everywhere the hot the light hits you naturally is where you naturally highlight. Okay. So I'm gonna put it right there. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And you probably put a little bit right there, but nowhere else. Not up under there. Mm -mm. You can put a little bit on your keeper's bowl. That's it. and come back for the finish like look close out the video yada 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 be right back okay yeah i'm back so all i did was change my sweater it's white or like off-white type um it's very um, fluffy i outlined my lips with a brown um lip liner and then i tried to apply this is completely empty this is the lip plumping lip plumping gloss in the mocha twist from elf um that's my favorite i cannot talk this is my favorite lip gloss however i'm completely out so i just um lined it and then put some clear gloss this is you supply like a dollar it's like pinkish clearish over top and yeah this is the finished look fairly simple super quick for me um, I would normally curl my hair like it's supposed to be like loose waves um, this is just untwisting it but I didn't want to I don't feel like curling my hair especially because I'm not really going anywhere I just wanted to do another makeup look for y'all um, so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the video I hope you liked it if you recreate this look tag me um, you know, Instagram or you know Facebook send me the picture I would love to see if y'all redid this look um, but yeah thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and happy Thanksgiving